Sir John Sony, directed by Chong Chan. This presentation will analyze Sir John Sony's life in order to further understand the effect of his life on his architecture. Sir John Sone was born on September 10, 1753, to his father John Sone Sr., a bricklayer, and mother Martha Mercy. He has four siblings, and he was the youngest one. During Sone's childhood, he was surrounded by rustic architecture, the primitive origin of classical building forms. Because Sone grew up in a bricklaying family, bricks was the material that Sone understood and enjoyed the best. This also triggered his interest in creative handling of material which extruded his knowledge to cover stone masonry, carpentry, and all the complex range of detailing and construction that would be useful later on in his life. In 1769, John Sone's brother, William Sone, introduced him to James Peacock. He was the right-hand man of the city rising architect, George Dance, the younger. And James introduced John Sone to George Dance, and thus his life as an architect started in the city of London. In March, 18, 1778, Sone finally started his adventure from London to Paris to Rome with his fellow students from the Royal Academy School. Throughout his adventure, Sone learned various new things on classicism that greatly affected his style later on in his life. Like in 1778, when Sonnet was in Paris, Luxon was designing the Hotel de la Sonne with its great arches and circular and oval rooms. Sonnet was a slave to his own professional ambition. His personal relationship with his clients and patrons greatly affect the quality of his architecture. For the client that he likes, he would sometimes invest his own money into the building projects. Sone's action and reaction were frequently ill-considered and irrational, which is damaging to him personally and professionally. But to his loyal clients, he showed great dictation, professionalism, and inspiration. That's why his best client is himself. Sonne was married into money to Elizabeth Smith, niece of London builder George Wyatt, on August 21, 1784. He had four sons, two died during childhood. Sonne's life is also very interesting. There are episodes of his family problems that are frequently showed on the newspaper. There are even evidence that shows streaks of instability and paranoia. Sone's behavior seems to follow a clinical pattern because of his physical health and fear of going blind. He sometimes lost his sense of self-control. These are the influences of his family problem and stress from Sone wanted his children, John and George, to follow his footsteps in becoming an architecture, but they have no little interest in architecture. John was lazy and suffering from ill health, and George has an uncontrollable temper. Even with all of the problems, John Sone seems to pull through. He was an English architect who specialized in neoclassical styles. His works are distinguished by clean lines, massing of simple forms, decisive detailing, careful proportions, and skillful use of light sources. Sone designed, among other things, the Bank of England, which was torn down in the 1920s, the Dalage Picture Gallery, and several wonderful country houses.
He was also an excessive collector of the arts that he needed three houses to house his vast and varied collections. He was a professor of architecture at the Royal Academy. Over several years, he bought these three adjoining houses which became the showcase to prospective clients of all the effective and decorative techniques that he could offer them. George Sone wrote a savage critique of his father's architectural style. Sone thus decided to leave his house for the nation on condition it was left exactly as it was on his death will.